Empress Virgo, Empress Virgo Tarot, back again with another reading. This time it is a romantic love reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. For whenever you guys happen to watch this time's love reading, I hope you guys are staying healthy, happy, and safe out there. And I appreciate all the love and support that you guys give to me and to the channel. It is much appreciated. Uh, speaking of support, if you guys like to read or know someone who likes to read, my book will make a great gift. It's called Life is Not a Dress Rehearsal, My Journey in the Classroom as an Empath and a Teacher. It's a page trying to read. It's available in paperback format, as you can see there, and ebook format. And it's available wherever books are sold. If you guys would like to check it out or are interested, y'all can check the link below listed in the description box. So enough of all that. Let's get into the reading, okay? So as a slip deck, you have Mr. Robinson, that's the devil. And Big Mama, that's the sun card. Interesting. All right, so, Divine Holy Spirit, what romantic love messages do you have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements for whenever they have to watch the Sun's love reading? As always, guys, take only what resonates with you and leave the rest for someone else, Okay. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. If it does, give the video a thumbs up, share, subscribe, consider joining our tribe, and hit the notification bell, okay? We will greatly appreciate it, and we'd love to have you as a member of our soul tribe, okay? All right, so we have the three of swords. Hmm. We have the ancestors in reverse. That's the death card. We have the three of cups, the eight of swords. The Queen of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, the Five of Pentacles, the Tower, and the Six of Swords. Overall energy, the Page of Wands, okay? The Son of Six. So it's something that you guys weren't seeing about someone in the past, but you're studying getting messages from the spirit world, from your ancestors. Take it how it resonates. It's like you were at a crossroads about something or refusing to see something or someone for some of y'all for who they were and spirit is trying to show you or tried to show you in the past for some of y'all y'all were dealing with someone and you thought they were the person for you take it how it resonates but it wasn't um i feel like uh this person put up a facade of who they were um and what i mean by that is they were showing presenting themselves to you one way but eventually they couldn't keep up the act that they were trying to <laughs> show to you and i feel like your ancestors were trying to contact you when you were with this person or dealing with this person but it's like y'all were stagnant or couldn't get the messages but let me but i do know a third party was involved though with um the relationship you were dealing with in the past yeah that person you were dealing with in the past y'all see what came out to clarify this the uh <laughs> that death card in reverse okay so whoever this person was that you were dealing with in the past they had some negative things that they were dealing with they had for some of y'all some s-e-x-u-a-l addictions or they were just a, a greedy person i'll put it to you that way everybody is not addicted to that they just felt like they could get over or get away with something Possibly putting you in a third party situation with the three of cups there that you didn't know about. For some of y'all, y'all kind of sort of suspected with the eight of swords there, but you kind of sort of, like I said, that two of swords energy trying to act like you didn't see or feel what you were being shown with this person. Let's see. Let's clarify the eight of swords. You knew it. Queen of cups. Empath energy. Uh, highly in tune. You knew what this person was showing you was the truth of who they were. Um, you could sense it if you didn't see it with your own two eyes. You saw it with the most important eye, the third eye. I feel like when dealing with whoever, you probably were dealing with a Scorpio um, who had a Capricorn placement somewhere. Take it how it resonates or it could have been reversed, okay? But I feel like whatever... That person had you in a third party situation. I ain't going to even front. It's like you knew it. It's like maybe this person was dealing with you because you are the queen of pentacles, queen of king of pentacles. Take it how it resonates. They saw you as an abundant person, someone that they could um, use for money. Oh, Lord. 
or whatever resources. So some of y'all, y'all don't understand that certain people will get with you just to steal your energy as well. You got to be aware of energy vampires. But I feel like the crowd that I'm talking to now, y'all already know. And this might have been something that you've been through in the past. Now I feel like y'all are in hermit mode and you're just trying to build yourself back up after dealing with a energy vampire in a relationship or several of them and i feel like now you're more aware you're more in tune with your ancestors you're more in tune with spirit and what people try to put it bring towards you now i feel like you're aware of it i feel like at one point you might have felt like you were being cast aside for someone else but whatever you were dealing with with that five pentacles you weren't being left out in the cold let's just be honest let's clarify it though yeah yeah Whoever, yeah, this person that you were sowing seeds with in the past, they went by the seven of pentacles in reverse. That You were sowing your seeds, putting them seeds into rotten soil. Page of swords here. Somebody who was sneaky, always into something, always trying to do something. It felt like you might have been trying to be a mother or a father to them. It's like you weren't with a significant other. They was always doing things to make you question your reality, your sanity. For dealing with them, let's just be honest. Ooh, cha. The big house, the tower. Scorpio energy again. That's Pluto energy, I want to say. Pluto or um, Pluto energy, I feel. Um, whoever this person is, they, they, they getting a rude awakening. Uh, because it's like they thought they had something better with the three of cups. With whoever that person was that they were fooling around with. But it's like now they really... It's like it's setting in for them that, oh my God, I left the emperor or the empress for somebody who I thought was better. Yeah. It's like they were slow to realize this, Knight of Pentacles, but they're going to try to come back towards you, and this is what you got for them. Queen of Swords. Cutting them out. You already know what this is. You already... <laughs> oh my God. You already know. You, you done moved on. Six of Swords. It's like, you looking at them like, why are you talking about this? I don't have time for this. What what do you want? Leave me alone. That's it. <laughs> like Michael Jackson, leave me alone. Um, <laughs> That's the energy Virgo placement has for this person. It's like, why are you bothering me? I don't like you like that no more. Like, It's like you kind of sort of low-key feel sorry for them. It's like they realize now that you were their safe place, the person that they could really build a life with but they took it for granted and they caused you <clears throat> they caused you um heartache and pain and i feel like now you just moving on mm -hmm, to something better for a lot of y'all yep you need to forgive them and heal though okay but i feel like for a lot of y'all y'all like i don't want that no more okay virgo placements let's see additional message for some of y'all, I really feel like y'all building yourself up. Y'all trying to spend time with yourself. Playfulness did pop out. It says playtime is essential for relationships. It's essential for yourself, too. Let's just be real. Have a little fun recapturing romance with your partner. For some of y'all, recapturing that love that you feel for yourself, okay? I'm being honest. Okay. Some of y'all got a soulmate coming up. But for a lot of y'all, in order for y'all to move forward with no baggage, I'm getting this from spirit. You need to forgive that person from the past or those people from the past. Forgive and heal. As you, for, as you forgive and heal, your love life becomes brighter and healthier. Let that go. I know it's hard for some of y'all. It is what it is. We're only human beings, essentially, but we're spiritual beings having a human experience. And we need to forgive, not just, not for that person, if you want to go there, but for yourself so you can move forward and find what's truly for you and who is truly for you. The person you are inquiring about is your soulmate. That sense of familiarity and comfort is your confirmation. So for some of y'all, yeah, the person from the past was a soulmate, but you got someone new coming in, okay? Let's see here. Anything else? Main attraction. Someone can't keep their eyes off of you. You are the leading star in the center of attention. So as you're moving forward, I keep telling y'all, somebody's trying to come back. That's up to you if you want that particular person, okay? But like I said, I always tell y'all, I can't tell you what to do, but it's up to you to use your discernment. If someone is an ex, they're an ex for a reason, okay? 
But I feel like you do need to forgive and heal, though, and move forward. But I feel like for some of y'all, as you are moving through your journey, through your path, wherever you're going or whoever you're meeting, people are going to see you like this. They're going to see you as the a hot tamale, the main enchilada, the main entree, main attraction. Someone can't keep their eyes off of you. You are the leading star. You are the center of attention. So for some of y'all, this may be the tower moment coming towards you like you you the main ish you that dude you that chick you gonna be the one that everybody trying to get with hey that rhymes but hey a lot of y'all y'all in the energy of not being bothered trying to move forward and you're gonna have somebody hot on your trail okay wow okay but for a lot of y'all y'all still healing y'all still trying to move forward healing is crucial and essential in this process of connect removing yourself from the past and connecting with the now and your future okay so that's all i have for virgo sun moon rising and venus placements i hope you guys enjoyed the reading if you did give the video a thumbs up share subscribe join our tribe and hit the notification bell and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys